Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. We have an absolute treat for you today, this awesome Grey Knight Force. This is an additional phase to a previous army which we completed, which you can see. Uh, I will put a link to that in the description of this video, so do make sure you check that out. If you're new to the channel, then Siege Studios is a UK-based premium commission model painting company. Uh, what we do as a business is paint models all the way from an above tabletop level as a minimum, all the way up to competition entry level quality. Uh, so if you are interested in commission, then all you need to do is head to the description of this video where the link to our contact form can be found and uh, you can complete that select drop down options that are relevant for you uh, include a message in the message section also with a list of models in our format which is displayed on that contact form as well fire that off to us to get the process started we're back in a second to have a look at this awesome grain art phase in more detail see you guys back in a second So let's first take a look at the HQ from this Grey Knight Force, and we have the man, the legend, Castellan Crow. Awesome model. This is a fine cast version of him. The metal version is no longer available. We tried to find one, but um, unfortunately we couldn't. So this is a fine cast version, but a really, really cool model. Uh, great stoic pose he's about to swing with his sword which is really cool and i love the way that the cape is just billowing to one side as well so let's have a look a bit more detail of this awesome awesome model uh, ben had a great time painting him there's loads of little intricate details all over him as you can see uh, all the little scrolls and banners and everything you've got the obviously the mike sword there or the demon bane sword that he's got i can't remember its name so if you do know its name put it in the comments below um but obviously there's a bit of freehand just on his uh, on his banner at the back there you got the little uh, sort of pattern on the uh, cloak as well that's been painted on just to add that extra little detail in there. All the lenses and gems all fully picked out and highlighted. Every aspect of detail were fully painted with all the sort of different glowing bits and bobs on armour. Uh, lovely, lovely cape here with a lot of nice amounts of contrast in there as well and highlighting done. Uh, but a really, really cool stoic model, perfect to lead this Grey Knight force. So that's just him. Uh, back in a second to have a look at all of the infantry uh, for this force and the Storm Raven as well. That's coming up shortly. See you guys back in a sec. So next up, let's have a look at all the infantry from this awesome Grey Knight second phase. As I mentioned, there is a full army uh, first phase which we completed, which I will link in the description of this video that you can check out. And uh, there's 20 more infantry in this infantry section to add to that army with a variation of different loadouts. There is some magnetizing involved with, with some of the uh, heavy weapons or special weapons in the squads on the back left. Uh, but we'll pull forward some of these awesome models just so you can start seeing them in a bit more detail. Uh, right from the get-go, as you can see here, loads and loads of detail on any Grey Knight kit as you'd expect but Ben's done a stellar job picking all those aspects out uh, obviously got the white helmets on these guys as well now each one has individual heraldry as well which is really really nice all the beauty seals they're all fully picked out you've got the lovely blended weapons on their force weapons as well which is really cool green lenses on all of these as well with a point of light source and some blending on those as well uh, with these very sort of uh, demonic kind of world bases as per our client request so that's just one of them uh, start pulling forward some of the adjuster cards just so you can see these he's obviously got a massive force hammer there as you can see swinging it away uh, but really really cool model great pose again all the details fully picked out and fully highlighted so that's just him uh, let's have a look at this dude here with the falchions again really cool weapons they're all brush blended as well so every sword has had a lot of due care and attention put on it with all of the uh, blending that's gone on you've got his unique heraldry on him as there as you can see um pull forward a couple from the back here just so you can see these in a bit better detail as well but overall again the same consistency throughout on all of them uh, and extra little details you've got his heraldry on his pad that br brush blended uh weapon there as you can see the halberd uh what we'll next look at is the just a car from this squad because i really like his uh very stoic defiant pose there as you can see all the eyes and everything fully picked out and there with all the contrast lovely added to that face just to make it look very human and realistic again moving around the back you can see the sheen on that armor as well with all the highlighting that's been done uh, on the different aspects of detail so that's just him uh, I do like this pose ever so much he looks like he's just about to uh, use the sword and swing away with it which is really cool again you can see that brush blending done on those swords as well his unique heraldry on his pauldron moving around so you can see him so that's just another one from that squad uh, and then we'll have a look at some of the uh, heavy weapons from the back just so you can see these again these are all fully magnetized so they do come off and go back on just to switch out the weapons again you've got in unique heraldry on all of these as well again those basing scheme just obviously match the first phase 
but that's just one of the heavy weapons. We'll pull forward the uh, another one, and then we'll have a look at the Justicar in this squad as well, because I really, really, really like him. Again, very, very defiant firing pose here. The legs brace there, as you can see, moving around all the details and everything fully picked out and painted. He's got unique heraldry on him as well. Uh, and let's have a look at the Justicar from this squad as well. Really, really cool pose. I like what Ben's done with this as well. Looks very defiant, very much come at me, bro. Um, but yeah, <laughs> uh, so that's just him and uh, all his details and everything fully picked out there in a lovely lovely clean finish so that's just the justicar from that squad uh, and then we'll have a look at some from this back squad as well just so you can see the consistency from model to model of unit again there you can see those lovely brush blended weapons on all of the models uh, again a lot of the time has been spent on the weapons as well which is really nice just to give them that lovely lovely finish again you've got his uniquely free-handed heraldry on his pad as well so that's just him looks like he's charging forward with a sword just a car firing away with his wrist mounted storm bolter and then obviously bringing the the, ax, the uh, hammer not axe the hammer to bear all the eyes there fully painted as you can see uh, again really like the pose of this chap as well so that's just him and then we'll finish off by having a look at another one from that back squad with uh, a sword i believe so let's just have a look at him and just get that to focus but again just consistency from model to model and obviously that free-handed pad detail there uh, so that's just him and then coming up next we're going to have a look at the storm raven from this commission so do stick around because that is coming up next there they are all 20 of them in their glorious fashion see you guys in the next section where we have a look at the awesome storm raven in more detail see you guys back in a sec So next, let's have a look at this awesome Grey Knight Storm Raven. I know Ben had a real blast working on this just purely because of the, all the extra little details and also the unique sort of heraldry that we've painted on there as well. Uh, now, the army phase is very, very clean and finished, but with the Storm Raven being such a large vehicle and, you know, taking sort of deb debris and hits and things like that from a little bit of shrapnel and all this, it has got a little bit of weathering to it, which I'll show you when we do go and look a little bit closer. But uh, let's pull it in straight away just so you can see and get this to focus. So all the crew and everything all fully picked out, painted and highlighted, uh, which is got a grey knight pilot and obviously the servitor the uh colorway obviously you've got the silver which is iconic for grey knights so we've got obviously its own unique heraldry with this stripe down the center of the canopy and also the turret and also on the cowlings on the uh, plasma cannons there plus obviously on the hurricane bolters as well if i just get this pull this in and get it to focus you'll see the chipping that's been done it's very very subtle uh, on that red paintwork red and white paintwork but it's not too overpowering uh, and doesn't look too much out of scale with it either as well but the plasmas are all glowing there really nicely and the cowlings obviously you have that chipping and scratching on them as well which is really cool all the buttons and dials there on the cockpit all painted and all the little lights and everything we'll just turn that around so you can see a bit more detail there but they're all fully painted and picked out uh, same again in the turret for the servitor his lenses and everything are all done with little dots and targets and things on there as well which is really cool now the wings as well have this lovely streaking effect uh, with grime and detritus on the wings just to show the movement and fastness of the vehicle uh, I do particularly like the uh, sort of soot and rust and damage uh, that's also been put on the feet as well just to incorporate the feet of the model with obviously this lovely basing that we've got um but this is the beautiful storm raven uh, in a lovely lovely semi-clean i guess because obviously because of the um chipping that the model does have but a really really lovely finished model and uh all the aspects of weaponry are magnetized as well so the hurricane bolters just do just come off as well the cowlings on the plasma cannons just come off and so do these so they're all interchangeable for our client he can literally just choose which weapons he would like for the, uh, the, the the game at hand. Uh, again, you can see all the lights and everything fully painted on this as well, which is really nice with pointer light source and also some, a nice bloom effect on the transition of color on those. I do like particularly these little extra lights that have been painted and also the missiles with these lovely yellow dot warhead sort of tips on them as well, which is really cool. Uh, so that is the Storm Raven in all of its glory, guys. An awesome, iconic model painted in the Grey Knight livery. Uh, really, really cool addition to his army. Uh, so coming up next, we're going to have a look at the force again, just overall. I do hope you can stick around to that end section just to see it on its glory again and uh, to find out a little bit more about Siege. I'll see you guys in the next section. So there we have it, guys. I do hope you like this Grey Knight Force. It's been a real cool project to work on. I know Ben had a great time with executing the extra additions to the massive army which he painted previously. Uh, if you are interested in commission with us here at Siege, then very simply, all you need to do is head to the description of this video where you can find the links to all of our social media and also the link to our contact uh, form on our website. So what you need to do really simply is click on that link. It will take you straight to the contact form, select the relevant drop-down options for you from those available, and then in the message section, include a list of models in our 
our format, which is also listed on the website as well. Uh, you can then fire that off to us to get the process started. While you're here on YouTube, make sure you give us a subscribe to keep up to date with every video that we put up. If you do hit the bell icon, you will be reminded, notified every time we put a new video up. And then we also have all of our social media, so Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, which can also be found in the description of this video. Uh, make sure you go give us a follow and like on those respectively. Thanks again. Really do hope you like this video and these awesome grey nights and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. I want to make sure that you guys have an accessible way to get hold of skills and new techniques and develop yourselves as painters. And that's it really, guys. So thank you very much and we hope you'll, uh, you'll join us on Patreon.